Welcome everybody, thank you for joining us here on the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. My name is Louisa Havers and I help high achievers, entrepreneurs and coaches lift the lid on life and business so that they can live at their highest value. Each episode we will bring you our favourite founders, CEOs and guest experts to share with you their insights and strategies to expand your wealth consciousness, your spiritual leadership and aligned business strategies. We know that living in alignment with your soul's mission is what fulfills you, and we're here to show you how to achieve this in an energetically aligned way. If you haven't already, be sure to claim your free abundance activation in the Akashic Records. Go to louisahavers.com forward slash gift to unlock your abundance activation today. And if you'd like my support in having aligned success in life and business, then contact me at www.louisahavers.com and let's explore together if it's an aligned match. Get ready to live at your highest value and to expand into your next level of money as you elevate and receive more, you create more for others. Righty ho, let's dive into today's episode. Welcome back everybody, welcome to this week's episode of the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. I am so excited because I have one of my dear friends, business colleagues um, here with us today, my dear friend Jennifer Pereira, who is phenomenal. So I'm so excited that you're going to get to hear from her and to join in our discussion today. So Jennifer, by way of introduction, is a founder, investor, managing partner of the Celestial Group with a big mission that is going to transform lives. I've got goosebumps already. (laughs) Change the wealth for women for generations to come. So this is why I'm so excited that all our listeners are going to get to hear from you today, Jennifer. Huge, huge welcome. Hi. Hello, Louisa. Thank you for such a warm introduction. (gasps) Oh, I've just been so excited for uh, us to have this conversation because I know we've been trying to get it in the diary for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's let's dive straight in. Um, And I I know I gave a very, very brief introduction to the Celestial Group. And I think, you know, it comes you know, better from (laughs) yourself to explain a little bit about what you're doing now and how you came to, you know, your journey to come to to focus on what you're focusing on now and the Celestial Group would be wonderful to get us started. Thank you. So Celestial Group is a women's wealth creation house. Ultimately, we're a private equity uh, investment firm that focuses on women. and, And ultimately, the mission is that every transaction with us results in a woman getting wealthier, no matter where in the world that woman is. So um, we look at investments in the private equity space. And for anyone in the audience that doesn't know what that means, just a high level of private equity, it's basically equity or capital movement that's not in public markets. So anything that's not traded on a stock exchange or through um, investment brokers that are, is publicly available. So we look at M&A, which is mergers and acquisitions. So we are literally acquiring small, boring businesses in the U.S. that are cash flowing. And my mission is to make women business owners. So you invest alongside us. uh, We walk you through the process and you are now on that cap table as an actual business owner of that particular company. Um, This is very exciting for me and my business partner, Camilla, um, it's been, I'd say, lifetimes of work <laughs> to embody the creator codes to get to this point. And, and I'm excited to share the journey of what led us here. But ultimately, um, you know, what we've seen with COVID and just, you know, all of the different things economically that we've lived through, you know, together collectively in the past few years, the need for passive income and, and a lifestyle type of investment um, paradigm for women is becoming more and more and more highlighted because I really saw and struggled with how financial institutions and government simply wasn't available to the populace to the extent that we truly did need it. Although we've been standing up these systems for centuries, it's like now the common person really didn't have access to what they needed um, in a way that was meaningful to them. Um, And I also have a tech and startup background. I was an IT project manager for years at at the government level, running transformation programs, and then moved into the startup space once I started uh, several of my own businesses. And what I've learned there and what I saw, again, is that capital is always an issue for women. So it's not just once you're experienced financier or being an investment banker. I don't have that background. Like I'm taking this on 
entirely new from the ground up because I really do see that private equity is is the way forward and women having you know control of their own data of their finances and ultimately of their lives and the ability to govern however they feel uh, fit to do themselves so I don't know if you want me to keep going with the story of how we even got <laughs> here yeah. I, I so just... as you know yeah go ahead no no I just I just love hearing your mission it just gives me goose goosebumps every time I hear you speak about it because I know how well I know that just I know loads of people that are going to benefit hugely from being part of the celestial group and mm. it's just so exciting thinking of that ripple effect as it as it um grows um out across all because I just think about all the people that I haven't yet met who are also experiencing some of the things that you were talking about because it's it's um you know, birds of a feather flock together. So everybody that we know knows somebody that's also going to be able to benefit and want to yes. be able to access these opportunities. Because I think one of the things that you, you touched on was um, around people feeling that they they just take themselves out of the game because they don't think it's possible. And right. that's not something that really spoke to me when you shared the Celestial Group with me. I was like, oh, this is a game changer. It, it changes everything. Sure. Mm -hmm. it's funny that you say that the people taking themselves out of the game it's like that is I'd say it's up there in, in things that I just absolutely won't stand for mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know so if, if you're in my field or if you're just in my energy like expect to be up leveled expanded um I won't say inspired but let's say inspired like mm -hmm. they there really is no reason and, and priming for this audience you know I know that that our audience is extremely intelligent and spiritually intelligent and emotionally intelligent. So I want to speak to all levels of our consciousness because I know the wisdom that this audience holds and we don't have to um, hold back. It's also, you know, being that full spiritual being and knowing what's possible in every potential in the field in this conversation and why I'm running this business the way that I am. Because ultimately we know what happens when women become wealthy. They prioritize community, they prioritize philanthropy, they prioritize uh, the planet and its resources. So the movement of money through the hands of the feminine is extremely important. If we're really looking at taking on Wall Street, if we're really looking at, uh, you know, taking on old paradigm banking and the systems, we have to evolve into new systems. And the way to do that is through creator beings that we are as the feminine. And, you know, we do welcome participation from men as well, just to not be exclusionary in, in our messaging. Um, I actually really, really welcome it because it sh demonstrates to me allyship. And mm -hmm. if they do have more resources available, whether they do or don't, it helps us stand up a lot of the deals and it, it makes it a space where more women can participate because the deal is then uh, well-funded. So that's just another you know, little note for us. Um, but one other thing that, that you said that's really, you know, hitting home with me is, you know, just the, um, the expansion that's available around not, you know, playing, a, playing full out. And I'm really over the whole COVID thing and I don't actually want our podcast to be focused on that anymore um, above and beyond the, the twice that I've brought it up now. But all of that is to say that I'm really done with waiting Mm. Like, I think the way to see the next iteration and the next evolution in us as a society is to just lead the way. Like, you just have to create what you want to see, you know. And so I'm originally Canadian from Vancouver, Canada. I'm not sure if you know anything about our housing market there, but Vancouver and Toronto, Canada are some of the hottest housing markets on the planet. So Vancouver is very expensive to own a home to the point that it's become, you know, unaccessible for most people. And I had the fortune of, of winning the Vancouver lottery last year because I sold my home. <laughs> and then I started going, I was like, okay, here's my chance to really make a difference at the philanthropic level as a life path nine that I know I meant to. Mm. So I start shopping around for investment advisors and I already had one, but it was kind of the same old hokey poke, mutual funds, ETFs give us your money. We'll send you an investment statement once a year that you have no clue how to read. And it's probably all oil and gas and things that I don't even understand or like anyways. <laughs> Louisa, I spent months. I spent months. And it was not just that they were, none of these people were a fit to support me. It's that no one was willing to look at alternative investments or when I was like, well, what about cryptocurrency? 
-hmm. What about alternative real estate? Like what, what else is there other than these products that you're earning a commission on? And I literally could not find the solution that I was looking for. I, it was just a very strong intuitive feeling that what I was being offered would keep me in the matrix as it exists. And I was like, that's not going to get me to my next level. Like we're not talking that I had a life changing sum of money, but I knew that it was enough to create life changing sums with if I implemented it correctly. So I literally set out to create what I could not find. <laughs> oh, and I'm, you. <laughs> you know, you know how this goes where there's one, there's more. So if I'm a woman with this issue, then there has to be many more. And, you know, some backstory to this as well for the audience is that I was running a psychedelic company. Uh, for many years working with plant medicines. I'm as healy feely as it gets. You know, I'm just like, like everyone that's listening, right? You know, the coaches, the creatives, all of that. I've been there and done that and, and I resonate and that's my paradigm as well. And in serving, you know, literally thousands of people that we move through the Bloom Institute uh, through our leadership and training programs, I really found the commonality with women once they tackled their healing work and where their soul's purpose was ready to be revealed. The next thing for them was always needing mentorship and needing money. Mm. It, like I started to notice the pattern. It just mm. became a pattern that this was the next thing that was needed. And it was beyond coaching. It was beyond uh, guidance. They needed mm. actual integration in their lives. And I was like, okay, you know, how can I best serve my clients and ultimately myself mm. by moving into that next paradigm? And so from there, um, Celestial Group was born. Oh. It's just incredible. I, and I love how you came together with your business partner mm -hmm. as well. Like you were saying, yes. um, she had a vision as well, like you. like you. Where did you guys meet? It so we actually met online. We oh. were introduced through uh, the co-founder of Eve Wealth. I love the name Eve Wealth, uh, which is a women's investment circle. And so her name is Camilla. Camilla is an award-winning entrepreneur out of Scandinavia. She really has done incredible things in, in her lifetime already. And uh, we were introduced through, you know, this mutual acquaintance of ours, she's Camilla, she said to Camilla, you need to sp speak to Jennifer because she's running um, not only a psychedelic company, but is planning on doing venture capital in the psychedelic space. And she said to me, Jennifer, you need to speak to Camilla because she's doing advisory for psychedelic companies and probably has good uh, venture capital opportunities for you. So we synced up on, a, on like three, four weeks go by. We sync up on Zoom, have a one hour meeting, very professional, pish posh. <laughs> at the end of the call, <laughs> posh, very professional. At the end of the call, she says to me, you know, this was all very nice, but this is not the real reason that we're here. I feel something with you. And I'm wondering if you're available to speak tomorrow outside of this meeting. And I said, I would absolutely love to. So we get on uh, Zoom the next morning, bright and early, 9 a.m. Miami time. I'm, I'm just fresh as a button to speak with her and excited because who wouldn't want to talk to someone after, you know, them putting so much mystery in the air. And she came on and she said to me, you know, you're like the salt to my pepper. And we've been dreaming the same dream. And I have been afraid to go about this alone. I have the exact same mission. She had started a company called Celestial Academy. We became Celestial Group after she um, basically acquired me with the Bloom Fund, which is what I had before. We've been dreaming the same dream for a very long time. And she's like, I would like to like really explore um, what's here and what we're both discussing. Louisa, we spent eight hours on Zoom. Oh, we spent wow. the full workday. I canceled all of my meetings and we went, you know, step by step, what led us to where we were, what's possible for the future. And it was just, it was a soul connection. It was just like, this is what's needed. And the recognition that we're so much better together as women, so much better together. And now we're just off to the races. <laughs> oh, I just love that. It, you, you, it's so true. We are so much better when we come together as women, that collaboration. Mm -hmm. And it really feels like that is it's part of the new paradigm. It's the way that um, we are all going to be able to work together as one, to rise together and to be able to create more wealth. Certainly for me, and I know this is where our work um, you know, I help my clients with their energetic vibration and changing their mindset around wealth so that they can start to see and be in the same frequency of the possibilities that you're offering so that they can say, yes, I can I can be an investor and to mm -hmm. be able to start to 
allow themselves to to dream bigger dreaming bigger right. is something that I've been really my guides are giving me those words over and over again yes. <laughs> well imagination after all is a form of planning yes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, I don't have an investment banking background. I don't have a finance degree. I didn't start out or set out in my life or as a child or dream of working in the investment space. I just really am seeing that if I want to have the massive ripple effect in my lifetime that I know that I'm capable of, that the finance system is the way to do it. And it's really by entrenching in the system and, and creating new things and just innovating is how we'll do it and creating enough of demand. And, and now we're going up against, you know, a very reputable private equity firms. And it's interesting. Some of our first few deals that we've done are actually the, the investors are women that work for investment firms and are choosing us above and beyond because of the mission. So they actually work for investment companies and are choosing to do deals with us because of how we're run and what we stand for. So I was like, okay, I think, Think we're doing something right so I'm just going to keep going and I'm not letting the fact that I don't know what I'm doing stop me because really it is about the stewardship exactly we it's all just are learning stewardship. along the way aren't we right. you, know, you can never know everything <laughs> well if I did it would already be in existence and this is what I'm finding it's just dancing with attention and dancing with the unknown every day and just allowing spirit to guide to be oh, honest yeah yes. that is where you really can surrender because you can't you can't go into I know the logical next steps from no. that perspective of the head taking control. No. And I want to give thanks to your programs as well. You know, you mentioned your, your work and as I want to give kudos to your work as well. You've helped me tremendously, you know, like the, the Academy and the, just the mastery that you hold and, and that you call up in all of us and going through your programs. I'm extremely grateful it's just the, oh. that constant, you know, the energy kinesiology, but also just your way of moving us through the hologram with your, with your manifestation process, with the helix method and how you move us through. It's a, it's a really cool tool in my toolkit. And I give major thanks to you. Oh, thank you yeah. so much. Thank yeah. you. I, I just love it when we're connecting yeah. and yeah. doing our work together. It's just fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fantastic. And I think it's wonderful. Um, when you were speaking about um, surrendering to spirit and allowing that guidance to come through, for me, that is really speaks to my soul around being involved and um, being a part of the community of the celestial group and, the, and all the souls in there at the moment are all like-minded um you know entrepreneurs it's just absolutely wonderful um to to have that excitement you can feel the frequency of the impact that is beginning to ripple ripple out and knowing that it's just going to be so much bigger than we can possibly even comprehend at this mm -hmm. at this moment in time and um I always notice what's going on in my field and one of the things that's really been coming to to my attention from you know various colleagues and, and clients is this sense of burnout from traditional businesses and yes. operating those and and thinking about how can I have the impact that I want to make and for the wealth that I want to have so that I can not only have the lifestyle but be able to do that philanthropic yes. um, you know gifts and um, purpose that aspect of our purpose is, is is part of that 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 giving mm -hmm. thinking about how am I going to have time to do all of that if it's if I'm um, you know working the business in this way and they might not necessarily want to be growing their business to seven figures in the traditional business sense and all of this team management that comes with that and potentially sure. etc cetera, etc cetera. yeah um and I was on a, a, a gospel choir um uh, practice last night and one of the ladies there was talking about her her, her boyfriend and one of the things that he, he a, a phrase that he said that stuck with me it was something like you know uh, always moving forward but the path is negotiable and that really stuck with wow. me because I, I really feel that, that that is the infinite possibilities opening up mm -hmm. for people it is in you know, I'm sure you must have seen like burnout coming through for for people wanting to find another way absolutely that's that's very beautiful wording about the past isn't it yeah very that really is resonating I'm just taking a minute to to reflect on it because I feel that no matter what road I go down I can never really be on the wrong path ever but yes it's negotiable 
isn't it? Yeah. So we yeah. can not have burnout when we but mm-hmm. like the impact that we desire. It doesn't mean that we have to kind of focus on the business growing in that particular way because mm-hmm. you've got opportunities for people. Yeah. Well, I I feel like you know this, but you might not. I have a very intimate relationship with burnout because I burned out in a very real way in 2013. I I had a complete health crisis to the point of also almost losing my life. So it was very serious. I was hospitalized in my adrenal, my adrenal glands were not just uh, burned out or fritz. They had completely shut down. And the amount of, of cortisol and adrenaline that was running through my body for months on end, unbeknownst to me, had caused such a level of toxicity that even, you know, my kidneys started suffering and, and I was hospitalized in a really real way and had to take, uh, you know, time off from work at my very high powered corporate job that was, you know, the original cause of stress and then a marriage that was that was failing despite best efforts and just, you know, all of the things, just life happening. Mm. We don't have the tools in our toolkit. We don't know uh, what's happening and we're not taught from a holistic health perspective, Mm. how to care for our energy body and and all of our auras and the different levels um, that is causing that, that effect Mm. on our our actual container. Right. Uh, So I have a very real relationship with this and, and I understand exactly what you mean. And that's so much at the heart of what we're doing because Camilla experienced the same thing as well. You know, she um, had a 40 person company award winning by the time she was 22, 23. And that's a huge level of responsibility. And she also burned out and had a very serious, severe crash. So the, the toll on women's bodies is real because we also don't account for emotional labor and emotional labor is labor. So we're doing a hidden layer of labor that's not accounted for. And it's not accounted for even, you know, by pen, paper and bank statement, the value (laughs) of what we actually do. Um, So this is where passive investing and lifestyle investing is key, or it's a solution to a very real problem that we're having. So when I say that I'm making women business owners, the very specific type of investments that Camilla and I look at is acquiring small businesses that are cash flowing. So they're producing a high rate of profit each and every month, and we can share those distributions with the shareholders. So to give it an example, to just make it very real for the audience, we Mm. operate under a look good, feel good thesis in our investments, because I really believe that we can change um, mental health paradigms and just health paradigms. You know, I I really care health, wealth and sovereignty is is Mm -hmm. the ultimate soul's purpose that I'm here to to um, embody and actualize in whatever containers want to appear. So the look good, feel good is, is from the inside out. And our, our, one of our big deals this year, like a flagstone deal is the acquisition of dental offices in California, and they are moving towards holistic dental care. So removing metal out of people's mouths, getting rid of x-rays, and they have dental hygienists versus the actual dentists at the heart of their business model. And they empower women to be uh, business owners. So they acquire this business that I've acquired, they acquire dental offices, and then they put hygienists uh, in the driver's seat of the business and eventually sell the offices back to them. So we just loved everything about that. And for people that don't know, dentistry has only seen a 6% fluctuation in its business in the last hundred years. So it is one of the safest investments (laughs) or safest uh, industries that you can be in. And it's extremely cash flowing. So people that have bought into this particular investment are literally quarterly receiving a paycheck simply for providing capital for this business to run, working capital for them to expand. And that's it. Like that, Mm -hmm. that's as complicated as it gets at this minute for deals with that particular kind of structure, because it was considered a capital raise. And I know I'm being very technical at the moment, (laughs) but again, trusting and wanting to uplift our audience. Yes. Um, That's considered a a capital raise. And when we do that at the moment, we're bound to working with accredited investors. And I encourage everyone to look up their status, whether or not they're accredited or not, because many more women than I realized were completely surprised to find out that they are accredited and they can easily participate. Yeah. yeah, Hint, hint, Louisa. (laughs) I was like, really? Oh, (laughs) absolutely. We think that it means this big institutional thing that you have to be a billionaire to have access to to private deals. So it's like, no, not at all. Mm -hmm. Um, 
One of the thing that I want to share, we're very excited. I don't want to make the claim of world's first, but I'm going to make the claim of world's first that outside of crowdfunding regulations, we're the only investment company that I know of that's working on solutions for retail investors. So that means people that do not have an accredited status, but still have funds they'd like to allocate. I am furiously working behind the scenes to come up for solutions uh, for people that fall into that status because it's the majority yeah and that's the point right it's like with a five thousand dollar with a ten thousand dollar investment we can do something that can change your entire life so just to put like let's qualify it with numbers it doesn't have to be in the hundreds of thousands what i'm talking about you know a five or ten thousand dollar check can get you in to some of to some of these deals and Mm -hmm. you would be receiving a quarterly distribution for life or until we sell the business yeah, I personally can't think of anything cooler than that. No, we neither. <laughs> if, any, if anyone else can, you know, give me a call because then I want to be doing what you're doing. <laughs> but the more checks and the more income sources that I feel we can create, um, we're really actually tackling you and I head mm. on the future of work. And we're tackling the transhumanist agenda because we're freeing up women to create. We're freeing them up to do their poetry, to do their dance, to be mothers, to tend to their garden, to just do whatever the hell they wanna do or run their business in a relaxed nervous system place. (laughs) Yes. Calibrated (laughs) to the full possibility of it because you're provided for. Yes. You're supported in all ways, always when you create these structures for yourself. And it's just as easy as building community and keeping small businesses on main street alive, which keeps people employed. Like I can go on and on and Mm. on as to why this matters. It's the most important thing, Jennifer. It's just phenomenal. It gets me so excited. And the the possibility for people recognizing you can start with a $5,000 check is amazing because it doesn't mean that you have to be a seven figure business owner. You can, you can, you can start baby steps as it were. And for me, well your wealth consciousness just expands exponentially the moment that you take that first step with that investment and realizing hang on a second it doesn't have to be like this this myth you know the the opportunity that your business has opened up and what you were saying around okay I'm creating these opportunities and working um so that people can your normal everyday person as it were can start Mm. to completely transform their wealth consciousness by having these opportunities and not feeling like that they've just got to build their business in a certain way because you know once you know we all know anyway that you know what what business model might work for one person is not going to work for the other person because it's got to be Mm -hmm. aligned with your energy number one but also being able to go actually there are more possibilities once my business has got to a certain level and actually I just want to keep it at that level but I do want to earn more income you know yes Mm -hmm. you can you can start to make because the path is negotiable to make your impact in a a different way because your purposes evolve from a soul level as as your learning and lessons are you know embodied on this plane you have that next evolution of your purpose don't you right this is part of it like the, right. the my cash it record guides have been very very clear that part of my mission on this planet is helping people to to raise their wealth consciousness so that they can yes. start to see and have lessons and soul lessons from a position of thriving and not struggling mm-hmm. Our soul doesn't thriving. oh my gosh to, to, yeah. to learn you know it doesn't yeah. that that's programming <laughs> mm-hmm. we, we can thrive yeah, the programs and the program much like the road that you were talking about it's it's up to us to change the channel right like we know that we can opt out of programs absolutely anytime that we want and anytime that we're not tuned into the correct program it's almost always an implant or a cord or you know something that we actually are in control uh, of of removing and or just choosing a different timeline and I have to just be honest with you I'm literally just choosing a timeline every day like I wake up select the portal make myself laugh embody like do whatever's needed get into my records and be like this is the hologram I am choosing to be in today because you know we've run in the same coaches circles we've been in, in several masterminds together now and you know we we talk about the coveted six figures and the coveted seven figures. But the reality is that once women start making some money, we actually still don't know what to do with it. We're not even sure how to steward it or, and we become so afraid of even holding on to it. 
<laughs> we talk about receive, 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 and you know, the feminism, it's literally the receptacle of receiving, but what about the holding? Yes. And then what about the expanding once you're there? You know, so it's like, I just want to be in particular elevators going up and up and not have to continually crash. So there is the, that very conscious choice we could make each day to, okay, what timeline am I in? What am I choosing today? How will this day that I'm setting up for myself support those choices? And then feel like that's where your work comes in as, as golden nuggets as well. Um, but things, you know, I also want to just normalize financial language. Like I had no idea what private equity was. I was like, what are you talking about? This is so technical. Like, what does that, what does that mean? Like, just stop bullshitting me Just speak English. Like, what is it? Make it, make it accessible. And so that's part of it. You know, when you look at all our fancy schmancy written documents, it's really about making this work relatable. Mm. I want it to be relatable for women to make big moves. Like it's normal for you to have money. It's yes. normal for you to steward it in big ways. Like that's just what we're doing on the regular. If you're a light uh, worker, like get on board. If we really yes. want to have the impact that we're meant to have, like, unless we really start stewarding millions, then I'm sorry. You're just like, not serious. I can't, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I it me normal, isn't it? It's instead of it feeling like it's a risk and there being fear around risk, it's our relationship with risk is evolved. needs to evolve. We can look at our relationship with risk, become a better steward of that. So it's not like having a, an impact on our nervous system, but actually it's more feeling into the, the excitement and the opportunity and the expansion of that rather mm -hmm. than the contraction. Yes. Risk. Yes. <laughs> we never say sorry for cats. <laughs> cats are saying sorry for us I love it but what you know what's so interesting here again out of respect for our audience and the spiritual intelligence that I know that our our circles are are carrying um I find it this is a judgment-free statement I'm finding it difficult to be in the frequency of those that are still in the love and light paradigm mm -hmm. and or are not really coming back to having their feet like solidly planted on the ground and recognizing that we exist in this plane here and now and, and in, in this present moment as spiritual beings, yes, but ultimately what we're experiencing is the here and now. And so if you're still afraid of getting paid, if you're still afraid of being a millionaire, like all of those things, I'm just not sure how much more seriously I can continue to take that from our spiritual community or from our colleagues. Like this is an invitation to step up and step out and step big for real, because you are just one or several trauma conversations or nervous system calibrations, as, as you've discussed, away from making entirely different choices. And we're still all going to live with the pain and we're still all going to live with our shadows. You know, it's not to say that that healing is is linear, that it's overnight. And I want I say this, you know, as someone that's worked with a healer with plant medicines for years, it, it's the it's the work of lifetimes to really um, work on our healing. It never ever ever ends, but at some point, your risk tolerance kind of becomes a curiosity versus a limitation. Because if I know that this is a hologram, if I know that this is a matrix, if I really am in belief of my spirituality and not just joking to be in the in crew or the love and light crew, then I know that I get to choose how I'm experiencing this. And so what is risk really? It's a safety mechanism emitting from the spleen yeah. to ensure that you don't die <laughs> by putting <laughs> yourself in situations that can feel like that's what would happen. I promise you no one has died by investing in a passive <laughs> income. <laughs> business that can change their life or taking one of your programs or taking on their healing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. Our investment company ultimately is a space for healing. It's a massive space for healing. Yeah. That's so beautiful. I love you saying that no one has died from investing in passive income. No, like, <laughs> because people, you know, they'll want to have one-on-one -on -one time with me and I, you know, walk them through all these things. And ultimately it's like, look, you're ready to do the scary thing and change your life or you're not. And either way, it's perfectly fine. Yeah. 
but it's a reflection of choice. And where do you want to focus your light? Yeah. Where do you want to focus it? Like, because we're yeah. refracting in millions of directions at once. And I just find it becomes ultimately confusing to even exist. I mean, being a human is weird. Let's, <laughs> let's admit it. Like the, like the human experience is fascinating yeah. and energy is our most precious resource. So where are you directing it? Mm. Yes. Focusing it to where you want to go, to excitement, to thriving, to yeah. um, an empowered relationship with with risk I love what you were saying about our spleen keeping ourselves safe it's it's so true it's it is this <laughs> bodily functions it's why why do we then a, allow it to take us out rather than going oh isn't that cu- curious yeah. that that's kicking off now I I see it as I'm going in the right direction it's mm-hmm. like whoa hold on <laughs> to this next in the head yeah <laughs> It's like the construction signs, right? Like on the road, the warning, but it's like expansion ahead. (laughs) (laughs) Hold on to your hats. Yeah. Yeah. Buckle up, Dorothy. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Jennifer, I could chat to you all day about this. I absolutely love it. And I, I would love our audience to stay in touch with you. How can they, you know, find you? Where are you hanging out? Yes, what please. would be their next step to, you know, get into your world? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. So we're on the web at wearecelestial.com. Um, we have a private telegram group within which we share most of our deals and, and exclusive news. Uh, I really urge, especially our healer community, to get on LinkedIn. I really urge people to get on LinkedIn heavily and take yourself seriously as professionals, you know, energy workers, coaches, all of that. You are professionals. You're serving a paradigm in a really true and real way. And I see you and I love connecting with you on LinkedIn because I take your work very seriously. Um, You know, I feel healers especially are holding up like a mental health crisis, the likes of which we haven't Mm -hmm. seen in our lifetime. And, And I respect you and honor you and want to connect with you on LinkedIn because I I just appreciate you all so much. So I'm Jennifer A. Pereira on there. You can find me on LinkedIn and, you know, some of the more informal channels. um, You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. I welcome personal connections as well. Oh, that's so awesome. I really encourage everybody to reach out and we'll pop the relevant links um, below this podcast episode as well. Um, Thank you so much for sharing your energy and your wisdom with our audience and um I could please come back let's have another conversation thank you <laughs> yes thank you thank you thank you so much thank you everybody for listening I know that this would have inspired you please do go and follow Jennifer and uh, take that invitation to connect with her um, and I will see you back here for our next episode in the meantime sending you all loads and loads of love until then take care Goodbye. Namaste. Thanks for listening to the Infinite Prosperity Podcast. And if you like what you've heard and want to know more, please go to louisahavers.com. We just appreciate you so much. So thank you for listening and hanging out with us. If there's anything that we can do for you, you can email us at louisa at louisahavers.com. Let my team know if you have any ideas for shows that you'd love to hear or topics you want me to talk about. Really looking forward to hearing from you. All right, that is it for this week, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for today. Looking forward to connecting with you again. Until next time, namaste.